All right, in this video, what you're going to, I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do a pixel ed editing project. Um, the one that we're going to make is, um, let me go to it here, and I'll show you what it's going to look like. Is this one right here. Basically, you're going to get this uh, girl that's doing a handstand, and we're going to put her on this I-beam. And um, then you're going to pick your own background. So you're going to pick which, whatever background you want to put into this picture. Um, I have a couple that uh, I've selected there for you to choose from. You can pick whichever one you want, or you can pick one of your own. It's up to you. Uh, to start with, let's go to Pixlr. So go ahead and type in Pixlr. It's P-I-X-L-R dot com. Hit enter, and you'll end up going coming here. Now, once you're here, we're going to go ahead and click on this Pixlr E, which is E for editor. And then we're going to go ahead and click on Create New. Uh, once you're in here, we're going to go ahead and click on the Web Small 800 by 600. That's the one we're going to use. So just go ahead and click on that, then hit the Create. And that's going to open up a first, uh, first uh, uh, this blank um, layer. Now, the first picture that we're going to work with is the one with the girl doing a handstand. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Add an Image. And for you, actually the best way to do this, we're going to go ahead and go to our classroom because at our classroom, we have all of our pictures. So if you go to the 8th grade um, classroom where we got this assignment. If you click on that assignment you see you have six pictures here um, and a couple different skylines. You have the beam right here and you also have the girl doing a handstand. So the first one I'm going to use is this one, uh, the girl doing a handstand. So then all you need to do is we're just going to go ahead and right click on that, copy it, go back to Pixlr and then if you hit Control V on your keyboard it'll paste right onto there and add a, a layer. Okay, so now the fir next, first thing we're going to do is we need to get rid of all of the background on her, uh, with the, her. So the easiest way, and not necessarily the easiest way, but the way that we're going to do this is we're going to use this tool right here, which is the eraser tool. When you click on the eraser tool, you'll get uh, up here you'll see there's different brushes that you can use. If I click on the brushes, it tells you that right now the size is 40 px or pixels. Um, we can change the size of that by making it bigger or smaller, however we need it. We can also change the softness. So if I have this really big like this, you can see that the edge is kind of soft, has that little uh, blended mode to it. We're going to go ahead and turn that down to uh, the sharpest that it can be, so 0%. And then we're going to go ahead and turn um, the size down, and we'll start at around 15, 18 or so. If you can't get it to zoom in there exactly it doesn't really matter you can type it in if you want and then you can go ahead and zoom in on to the project so zoom in all you have to do is use the wheel on your mouse and it will scroll right in and as you zoom in you can zoom in pretty close you can see the different pixels um, and then we can get this circle right up close to her body and we want to just go ahead and click around all the way around, getting as close to it as possible without um, erasing her. If you make a mistake, and the way I'm doing this is I'm just go ahead and clicking. Each little spot that I do, I'm clicking. I'm not dragging. If I drag, sometimes you might go like that. And if you go for a long period, you might erase a lot of your work. So now I made this mistake, so I need to fix that mistake. So all I have to do is it control, um, I believe, uh, let's see, if you go edit, control Z is undo. So if I hit control Z, it will get rid of that um, blemish or mistake that I made. So you just kind of work your way around and get as close as you possibly can. Some of it you can, uh, you don't have to be exact, but just try to get as close as you can to it. Some of it will blend into the uh, the beam that we're going to be putting her on. 
so you won't notice it as much. I'll zoom in a little bit further and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the size of the brush again. I'm going to make this five so I'm going to actually make it really really small here so I can get a little more detail. So this is going to take quite a while and you can go ahead and do this on your own. I'm going to kind of zoom forward here with my um, video so that you guys don't have to watch me doing all of this all the way around. But this is basically what you have to do. Uh, is just work your way around and try to get as close to um, her as possible without erasing her. All right, so then once you get the outline of her completely done, then you can go ahead and increase the size a little bit more. Don't go too big. That's probably pretty good. And then you can go ahead and erase bigger chunks of it at a time. Okay, so now that we have all of the background erased with this girl doing the handstand, now we can add another layer. So we're going to come down here, click on the plus, and oh, I take that back. We're not going to do it that way. We are actually going to go ahead and go back to our classroom, and find those pictures that we were working with, and we need to do the same thing with the beam. So then we go ahead and open up the beam right click on it we're going to copy that image and we're just going to paste it right back in here as well so control v should add that layer okay so now we're working on that layer the other layers are still there but um and we'll see that as i start erasing so the same thing we're going to do the same exact thing we did before um, this time i'm going to use the square uh, tool and makes it a little easier to do down here by the beam. Again, if you make a mistake, you can fix it. And I'm not worried about this person here. So we're just going to go right over top of him or her. And uh, work on getting rid of I do want to keep that the cable coming down. So again, I'm going to try to get as close to that cable without erasing it. If I need to go back and use the round tool, I will. I'm going to try to get along the beam first here.
Okay, so now I have the girl and the beam uh, both have their respected or, or have the backgrounds removed. The last part that I need to pick in, put in, is I need to have some kind of image for a background. I'm going to go ahead and use the one, uh, this one here from Cleveland. Okay, so basically what you're going to do is again, just right click, copy image, take it back here to your photo, control V it, it will insert now. Um, and obviously right now the other photos are behind this image. I need to make this the background. So to start with, I'm going to actually hold control, then I'm going to grab this corner and then stretch it out a little bit so that it is as big as uh, the background that I want. Now, then I'm going to go ahead and move these other images up a layer. So I'm just going to drag this one up and then there's the beam. And then I can also take her up and move her up to the top and now she's on top of the beam. So I can do move these around a little bit. So if I want to move this up a little bit, and I notice that I still have some pieces there that I didn't get rid of. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I erase those. So there we go. And I'm going to go back to that la layer and slide it over to where I want it. So we'll put it right there. Actually, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to shrink it down. And as I do that, I notice on this side I'm missing. I missed some spots. So I'm going to go back and erase those. And then I can move her. So I just go ahead and click on her and I should be able to move her where I want to. Now if I want, I can actually shrink her down to size too. So it makes it look like she's actually doing her handstand on this beam. Place it where you want. We can probably get a pretty good shot of her. Maybe between the buildings like so. And so basically that's it. Alright, so now the last thing that we have to do is we have to go ahead and uh, save our image. Now before we save our image, first thing I want you to do is we're going to go over here uh, to the far top right hand corner. You'll see these three little dots. You want to go ahead and click on those. And then we're going to go to settings. Now in settings, we're going to scroll down until we see advanced. Under advanced, we're going to click that. You're going to see downloads. Under downloads, you have locations. And basically what this is, is when you click uh, something to download, it tells you where it's going to necessarily download things in uh, Google Chrome. Uh, in order to pick where you want to save things, uh, for Pixlr, what you need to do is you need to turn this little switch over here on. So you just go ahead and click that so that it turns on. Then we can go back to our Pixlr projects. Now in here, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on File and then Save. Um, first thing you'll do is go ahead and change untitled to something like girl on beam. And the first time we're going to save it, we're going to save it as a JPEG file. So that's a J, JP, JPG. Um, and that's what it usually saves by default. We're going to go ahead and click download. And then it will open up uh, the save box and it'll ask you where you want to save things. I would like you to go ahead and click on pictures and we're going to uh, create a new folder. 
and I'm going to call this folder Pixlr Files. And then I'm going to go ahead and open it. And then we're going to hit uh, save, and it'll save the image as Girl on Bean. So then we can close this out. And I'm going to go back here and I'm going to hit save again. Now the second time I'm going to do it, um, I'm still going to call it Girl on Beam. And I'm going to click the file type as PXD. What this is, is a uh, Pixlr project. And so if I wanted to go back and edit it, I can still do that and it'll still have all the layers that it originally had. Uh, if, um, the JPEG file will not have the layers. The Pixlr file will. So then we can go ahead and click Downloads again and it will open up the save box again and it should open up right where we saved the first one. You won't see it in there because it's uh, only saving Pixlr showing Pixlr files right now. So you can go ahead and hit save, and then they will both be in there. So now, we're going to go back to our Google Classroom, which is here. Okay, so in uh, Google Classroom, basically, once you're in here, um, and you go to the assignment, you're going to add and create something to turn in. Um, we are going to go ahead and click on a file. Now your finished project, you gotta go back to your finished project, so you're gonna go click on Uploads. And then in Pictures, remember we called it Pixlr Files. So there are the two uh, files that you need to upload. So you go ahead and click on Girl on Beam, click Open, Add More Files, and then you can click on the other one as well. And then you can go ahead and click Upload. These, this way it will show me the work that you did and your finished project with, with uh, JPEG files. So then you can go ahead and click turn in. Turn in again. And then you have those assignments are submitted. Okay, so then that's basically it. If you have any questions about um, turning in assignments or doing the assignments or anything like that, feel free to send me an email and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks.